have my camera, boom, with a two word mission statement, change lives. And we're doing something different today. I'm here with my man, Anton, who's another business owner who I've got to know very well and respect. And we just want to talk about some things going on with business, some struggles, leadership breakdowns, tips for procrastination, mm. and some real life strategies for social media, but not in a stupid way, more of like, we were just talking and and we can let people know before we answer it, like some of your background so they can understand how much you are like are an expert in that space. But mm -hmm. the difference between social media where like Denzel Washington just did a post where he's like, people are literally getting depressed when they don't have not 500, not a thousand, but when they don't have 16 million <laughs> views which if i'm being honest like we've all we all go through that yep um especially when you're like doing it strategically for a business um but it could be it can become like a sickness and paralyze you and also make you envious and on the other hand how do you weigh that out when you're being strategic i'm not just talking about if you're on social media for fun I mean, like if you're doing it as part of your business platform and strategy, how do you weigh that out for when I'm being like too envious of letting me down versus someone that's like, well, none of it matters, but then they don't ever have any like strategy for their business growth. Yeah, I think um, number one, there's a lot of people who like, in my experience, there's been a lot of great people in real life who stay away from social hmm. for that reason because they don't want to, they think it's bad for society or, you know, they have these limiting beliefs about it. And I always tell them like, you know, the people who should be on social media are usually the ones who aren't mm. <laughs> like, cause they're scared. They're in their own head. And like, like I, I always tell them like, don't, you know, don't be selfish with it, like use it as a means to serve. And when you look at it through that lens, it becomes a lot easier to post. It also becomes a lot easier to not get caught up in the likes and the comments and the this and the that. If the content is genuinely like with the intention of helping people, I think that, you know, can be a short answer to a, a longer conversation, but that's kind of like what I'd say. And I want to let people know you're, and that always helps me yeah, when me I too. really put it in perspective. Me I'm too. like, if I did this out of my heart, right. And it's funny, like some of the random things where I've just been just in my car, like pulled out, like, dude, I just got to share this thing Yeah, that you don't even think of. People. Some of those have hit a lot, yep. but some have hit, some will hit none, but then someone will write me that I didn't even know was watching it. That, and like that, that helped me. Just going to say that. The, it's and stuff so I almost weird. like took down and I'm like, wait, that was still up. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny because there's a lot of people who don't like, like or comment, but they'll yeah. watch it and read it. Dude, this happens to me all the time. It and just happened like to me the other day or something. Someone was talking to me about my, I did a jujitsu competition and I, and I won and they were telling me how they loved what I wrote in my post. And they, I put like three main things that jujitsu has taught me like in my post, like it was a very specific type of post. And this person read it, read it all, but didn't comment and didn't like mm. it. And they knew like the very intimate details about the post. So like it clearly touched them and they didn't say anything. And like, I didn't care that they didn't say anything, but it was just an observation of like, huh? Like there's a lot more people watching than you think and consuming your content. And I, this has happened my whole life ever since I started posting like a year uh, and a half ago. And they, there's times where I've done that and, I, and I'm not even thinking not even about like an intentional thing, right? Just, I'm actually like, so digesting the message. <laughs> and then if like I'm, if I'm messaging them, yeah, like per that's, beyond a level of commenting and stuff because it hit me enough to actually go deeper yeah make a lot of times i'll like it and give a quick fire because i like it and respect it mm -hmm. but if i got really deep into it where i like no where i'll message him it's even in sometimes us 
making the content and we're thinking, wait, why didn't you like it? Comment. Cause that needs to help the algorithms and all that crap. <laughs> right. It's like right. balancing that out though. Yeah. Um, and then, so letting everyone know what you do too, because you, yeah, we did a show before, so you can listen to that podcast actually to really know what Anton does in depth, but just people listening now, you've work with like some of the highest different influencers and stuff and become really well known over how many years has it been now uh approaching eight nice almost yeah hitting closer to the decade it's almost a decade it's kind of crazy um yeah just you know been growing and, and working in social media since i was 20 21 years old um it's a crazy thought hmm. you know and um on the back end like working making yeah yeah content for I, I was never making content for myself it was always for other people i didn't start making content for myself really in the past like year and a half two years um you know i just i didn't think i had value to bring to the world so hmm. I, I had a skill and i knew i could help other people who had value right <laughs> so that's how but I that's at your it. business and that's my that turned into a business and it, it, it started off with a very genuine intention with wanting to just help people in general and then you know we had a lot of couple big wins early on in in my uh, kind of venture of social media and it really showed me what was possible it showed me that this is absolutely the future that this isn't getting any less popular it's only going to get more intense and um, as I've grown and matured mm. as a business owner, I realized that like the next, like Elon Musk is a great example of somebody who has a powerful personal brand. You know, that guy on a daily basis through a tweet can reach countries in right. terms of size. That's the ultimate leverage and for he his can business. Plummet his, he can increase or plummet his stock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, but like everybody in their own ecosystem has that ability just on a smaller scale. And I think that's where personal branding comes in, where it's like once you, you know, are consistent and you're bringing a lot of value to people, it's inevitable for it to pay off in some way, which is why it was, why it has been successful for me and why, um, I think more and more people are starting to invest in it. Like over the years, mm. the demand for me has only gone up. And and that obviously is a byproduct too of me doing a good job. But I think it's also the culture. Like people are starting to catch on. Entrepreneurs are starting to catch on. Like, hey, this is this needs to be built into my business strategy, uh, this piece. So there's that too. But there's also like the guy I just had on, Peter Tor Tortello, on my show, I think the week before last, mm -hmm. who's built a hundred million dollar business, no social media, right? But has a really it. powerful story. Like he got on and shared, which to help people, he should be on social media. He, he should. He, he could help. But a he lot doesn't of... need it specifically for. But yeah. who knows? Yeah, it, it could level things up to where we don't even know. I don't know. Well, yeah, it, it could if if it's done right. You know, I think the biggest like the easiest way to grow a business, there's like that saying in Hollywood, like the easiest way to grow a business is to become a celebrity. I, I'm butchering. But he's, it, but it's, it, it's like interesting that. though, because he's 10 X away from being a billionaire and has no social media too. Of course, yeah. one thing doesn't work for everyone. No. And I think most of the richest people in the world probably don't have social media, but mm. I think it's, it gives you an edge that almost nothing else I have seen compares when you combine if, the two if, yeah if, i mean look at look at billy look at our friends it's like you have a million followers right to make money all you got to do is post but his like, his business is i mean dude they're doing everything by the way i just saw yeah. their whole new watch collection but right his company is based on social media tv channels t subscription if, but it, to, the traffic and comes, they're amazing right as to where like Peter's company buys other businesses. Mm -hmm. I mean that Alex dude, his company does the same thing and they've invested a lot in social media and that's helped yeah, them. He spends a quarter million a month. Um, People don't know that. And he gets it back. You know, he, he talks about how, um, what's his full name again? Alex, Alex Hermosi. Mm. Um, yeah. He has a holding company, you know, it's hundred million plus per year. And, he gets all his leads through social media. So people who small, you know, entrepreneurs doing between three and $5 million a year, his goal is to help people get to that point 
because then he can invest in their company. So he's like, his content is delivered around how can I help small entrepreneurs become bigger entrepreneurs? And if they like me and I've provided them value, hopefully they'll look into my company and I'll buy them out 50% mm. or whatever, and then we'll build it up. So that's his model. But he wasn't known. Uh, so you just, he invests yeah, 250000 a month, but he had, because I didn't even know who he was till like a year ago. Well, yeah, he wasn't on social until about but, a few years ago. But that means for a while he was investing close to that a month and still not being known. And that's the part that a lot of people, including myself, don't love. No, it's like any business. Like, how do you keep going? Yeah, to where... Uh, and it's all where you are. He had sold a company, so obviously he had money. But it's right. still, dude, whether or not you have money, 250000 a month is a huge investment. Yeah. But now we all know who – I know I see him everywhere. Yeah, and he's, and he's tripling and quadrupling down right now because he's now mm. seeing – like he's probably like – I mean – from what I know now, he's more lean than he was in the beginning because he was just trying so much shit. So he's like really got an in-house team. Right. They have a physical location in, in Vegas. Like it's like it's be, it's become a media company because he mm. sees how everything he touches now turns to gold because he has a personal brand. It's the ultimate leverage. He hmm. he put he's put his name on one thing. It's gonna help that business. It's like the celebrity effect. It's like Kim Kardashian. Mm. She's a personal brand. Kanye West, personal brand. It's like, yeah, they're celebrities and they were known for things, but it's like, this is all personal branding. This is why Kim K, she can do an Instagram post for some company and get paid literally a million dollars for just a post. And that has nothing to do with how much money that company makes. If no one buys anything, which wouldn't happen, but it's just for the her, her to say, hey, buy this. Like that brings that company so, you know, so much value. So, hmm. um. I'm seeing it now more than ever that more CEOs and more big companies are starting to go in this direction. Like, I think very soon, you know, we're going to know the CEO of Fiji because if this guy had a strong personal brand. By the way, sorry for interrupting, Anton. And I know you see a lot of my stuff and I'm terrible at interrupting. <laughs> um, if you are the CEO of Fiji, we are talking about sponsors. Mm -hmm. I drink these. I buy these literally every day. This is free advertising. But, dude, I would be honored <laughs> to advertise Fiji. I, I, dude, I, I don't, I haven't, that's a funny thing you bring that up. I have no idea. I've looked them up. They're not a public company because I wanted to invest in their stocks. That's because mm. I drink it so much. I'm like, I should be getting it's true, an man. ROI from how much. True. true. I, I and love that's it. Their mindset. And <laughs> they've branded it so well. Like, it's, I could just put other water in that and the way yeah. that bottle looks, it makes it taste better to me. It's the power of a brand. Yeah, I'm like addicted to it. It's crazy. Yeah. And if this guy had a personal brand and he became very popular in mm. some way outside of his product, but him as an individual, his company would, as a byproduct, go up. Look at Logan Paul and Prime. Logan Paul just started Prime, like literally a year and a half ago. It's gonna go be. It's gonna be bigger than Gatorade. My neighbor here is his silent partner. Yeah, one of them. No, really, he just he gave Gilbert like a case of it. Yeah, Logan you told Paul me. Was I know. There. Yeah, I mean, I know Super Logan, cool. and like the reason why, like Prime is literally gonna put like Prime. Like Gatorade hasn't really had like yeah you had like Powerade and stuff but like Gatorade is like Gatorade like but like Prime is now the drink of the UFC because this of is him. only because of Logan and KSI because of personal brand decades of them building because yep. it's funny his silent partner no one knows there the, strategically maybe he'll be on social media one but it doesn't make sense. But I don't know what they have worked out, but their friends, he invests and owns a huge part of it. No one knows who he is, but he doesn't care because if the business is winning and he's got Logan Paul as part of his, it's yeah. all how you play. Yeah, because you, not everyone needs to be on. No, some from the team, you mm -hmm. know, I think I think a lot of people who are the face of big brands there's like bigger forces behind them, like good managers and a good team. It's like you, you ever, like, so it's, it's essentially marketing it exactly branding. 
but marketing. people don't people just you hear the word branding thrown around so much without understanding yeah when i think this is really just a new intentional brand form of of the next level of marketing yeah it's well put um branding to me is simply the amount of value the message of whatever the company is or individuals bringing you that is a brand in 2023 it's not about colors and logos that has nothing to do with it that stuff is so minuscule in the grand scheme mm. what is alex hermosi's color scheme what is his logo you can you wouldn't know but you know alex you know right. what he can bring you and that's the power of a brand like that's what a brand is in 2023 like get get known first and then you can work continually work on your color scheme and all that down the line as to where people try to have the perfect i think grant cardone said like i think that's one the of the three main rules things ever people do they spend all their they money worry about on that their first. website name and their this, their LLC name and their their branding colors. Like when, but then when they don't I'm, get known. Right. When I'm working with a client mm. in the beginning and they start asking me about like color schemes and logos, I'm like, dude, you don't understand the game at all. Mm. <laughs> like, and it's not their fault, but it's like you don't understand the game. Like branding has nothing to do with that stuff anymore. Like, why do people know Grant Cardone? It's not because of like, yeah, he did 10x. So that was a good brand scheme. But like, the it, 10x thing, Grant, like me, Grant Cardone I'll, makes I'll tell 10X. you, like, put my put right. my little logo on the video, and that's just to get the the right. recognition. And with that's it. that's a little like different. subconsciously, just like Grant Cardone. But it's not. Right. That's not gonna make or the break the color schemes and, or all that stuff too. When it comes to personal brand, you want people to fall in love with you because then whatever you decide, whatever area you decide to put your name on, they'll follow because they trust your judgment. Mm. It's like if I came up to you and we're friends, so I was like, "Hey, Mark, I'm working with this company. They're really, really solid. Like, I think you should work with them." You wouldn't even think twice. You'd be like, "Right, yeah," because Anton vetted them out, so they're probably legit. Because I know Anton's legit, so. And I would do the same. We do this every day of our life. Um, and that's kind of how I see it with like social media is like, you don't need to be on it, but it gives you an ultimate edge um, compared to someone who isn't. There's that. And then there's another kind of point that I think about more is that, you know, I believe life is about becoming something and then giving back. Like, I really believe that. Mm. And I yeah. think I think as you that's get, why I decided to yeah. get on later. Go ahead. Go yeah. Ahead. And I think as mm. people get older through the seasons of life, they enter into like the mentorship phase where so they want to like give back to the youth. And I see like I was like thinking this on the car right over here. I was like, man, like more old people should be on social media. Like imagine if your grandma or grandpa's wisdom was on social media, like and you could have an archive that's, of like that's true. grandma's wisdom. And like, that's Life how tips and it's like, you know, I don't know, like for your kids or for your kids, kids, like, yeah, that was grandpa or that was your dad or that was this. It's like, you look, you have a paper trail of their entire life and the, what they did to the world. I was like, that's really cool. You know, that's how I think about, uh, about it. Like for rich, like <laughs> individuals who are wealthy mm. And that's a way of like giving the give back that, you know, <laughs> and as a byproduct, you'll me. build something bigger because people will be like, holy mm. shit, this guy, you know, and then you'll make money. And it's just like, it's this counterintuitive thing. And I think her is a great example of that is like, he kind of, you know, I don't want to say changed the landscape, but he altered it. And it was just more of like, look, like give before you take, it's just like really over deliver. Cause he could have retired. I mean, he sold his company for I don't know, like eighty million. I don't know the eighty million or something. Yeah, he, he has a boatload of companies. He had Jim Launch. He had a bunch of companies. He just sold one recently, and now he's really focusing on acquisition.com. And this right here is exactly what Alex Hermione wants us to do. Yeah, like we literally just gave. <laughs> we his... just literally, like everyone's like anyone who doesn't know Alex is going to start looking. Yeah, and that. Acquisition.com. That and all goes that. that goes to show like how powerful a brand really is. Mm. Like this is proving the point. I like what you said about that's what's always pushed me to keep going is like at a point, and, and we'll get on leadership in a minute, and also leadership breakdowns with social media. And you mentioned Elon Musk, which is gonna be a great segue. And I love Elon Musk, but this was not a great thing that happened, but there's ways you can 
make up for it. It's all leadership. Yeah. However, as I continue to grow and stuff, I realized building my company, building my team, le leadership is also pouring back what you've learned into your team coaching. And then I realized now it's time to have a book and a show to give back. Yes. But I've, I've, I feel like you do have a responsibility when you make it to a level of success to share the knowledge. Agreed. And that's where I've continually pulled in guests that have done all stuff, but it's sharing, you know, their struggle. Cause I always looked at what I wish someone would have told me. Right. Same. And then also you, you don't get into that at that level. Like I'm only doing this just to make money, but it does have to, at a point make sense if you're investing like yes. 250,000 a month for his example, whatever you're doing right. a thousand a month, depending on your, your budget or whatever to where you're not like hurting your going bankrupt or something from it exactly. too. But right. I, I do think that's like a great point. It is like a responsibility where you have wisdom to share. I completely agree. I think the youth like is looking for leaders, you know, and a lot of the older people who have all the wisdom are nowhere to be found. And mm. it sucks, man. Like it, it, it alters our culture because parents like you know their kids look up to these internet celebrities who aren't really don't have good values in these things and that's because mm. that person is speaking the language of the child social media like that's how you reach kids nowadays so to not but don't some of them don't have that w the like the leadership in like yeah. values yeah most of them don't to be expect. pouring they're not like walking the walk yeah and they're still maturing in their own right which is fine we all go through right a stage but you know i think i i, I don't know i just you know i the mm. the older i get the more i like you know i wish i wish my grandpa was on social media i didn't know my grandpa that well and the older mm. i get the more I respect my grandpa as a person, even though he's not here, mm. because as I've matured, I realize like a lot of his approaches to life, like why he was the way he was. Very stoic man, very hardworking, very mm. like never complained, barely spoke. Like, and I'm like, man, like I wonder what was like locked up in his head. Like, what was his wisdom mm. beyond like his actions, which inspire me now, and like how he was so like strong in a lot of ways. Um, but wow. as a kid, I didn't, I thought he was cold. Like I didn't, right. I didn't connect you with didn't him, but that's because where I was at. So it'd be cool to have like an archive of his wisdom. And I think if you look at it like that through your life and like you as an individual and like think of it from a bigger scheme, anybody listening, like I think it's important not to hold back your truth, hmm. you know, just don't hold it back. That's one of the hardest things is to keep getting yourself to not hold back. So Epic. this has been amazing, man. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, and thanks uh, for having me. Everyone, just send us in any questions about anything with life, and we'll yeah. be happy to discuss them. Yeah, be sure future, to like and subscribe uh, and share this episode if it brought you any value. You know, we don't do we don't charge anything per se, but if there was a fee, it would be sharing it with a friend. <laughs> you know, I'm glad. I'm just, thank you for saying that. That's why he's a social media guru. I heard my man Dave Ramsey saying that on his podcast. Oh, yeah. Because I don't remember. And he's like, get on all, go to, it's on Apple Podcasts. He's like, we have 240 amazing reviews. Thank you, everyone. But the algorithms, you got to keep doing yeah. it. Gotcha. So jump on there, give a five star, or do it on Spotify because that keeps sharing the knowledge with other people. And he, I was like, man, I'm glad he reminded me to say that. That reminds me to say it. Heck yeah. And uh, I do. I, and plus, I want to support and plenty of people listening. We just forget. Oh, and absolutely. it's like, oh, that matters. And then he, I'll, I'll just borrow his word. But he's like, if you're a troll and you're going to leave a one star, like we don't need you. Go, go troll someone else. Like <laughs> if you love it, share the awesome knowledge. If you hate it, just don't listen to it. You don't have to be a troll and leave all that crap. Go listen to someone else. Love that. <laughs> cool. See you on the next one. All right. See you later, everyone.